Hello guys! I hope you spend a very good holidays. If you celebrate Christmas, I hope you had a very nice Christmas and I hope all of you had a very good new year. Personally, for me, it was fine. Nothing too much of, out of the ordinary, uh, but I like it this way. Like last year, I decided to do a top 10 of my favorite drama of 2022. Uh, however, I have to say that uh, this list doesn't include only dramas of 2022, but also dramas that came out before. Um, I thought of doing a list of only the dramas of 2022, but I thought about these dramas that I really, really enjoy and feel like I would never be able to put on a list. Maybe if I did some tops of my best dramas, but if I do one each year, this would feel a bit weird. Anyway, I decided it this way, so don't be surprised to have older dramas in this list. I listed my dramas by rating, but when two dramas have the same rating, there's no listing done. I didn't try to find which one I prefer among them. Now, that being said, let's jump right in. First off, in my list, I start with a drama that I know made a lot of noise this year, whether you liked it or you hated it. It made a lot of noise and it's Kin Porsche. This BL tells the story of a guy who finds himself embarked into the Mafia and ultimately has to become a bodyguard. I rated this drama 8.5 out of 10 and I thought this was a drama I was not going to enjoy at all. Mafia stories are not something I enjoy at all. They bore me, I find them kind of ridiculous as well. It's really nothing for me, but very, very good surprise by how it is executed because it was able to pull me in anyway. So, very nice. Also for this drama, I have to note, and it's probably going to be for every drama in this list, but the acting and the production is very, very nice. But in this one, I want to emphasize it because it's a BL from Thailand. And so having this high quality in a Thai BL is really something. Second in my list, we have All of Us Are Dead that I give 8.5 as well. The story is about a bunch of high schools who get stuck into their school during a zombie out outbreak. Again, high quality production and acting. The actors are all pretty young, if I remember correctly. So I think they all did a pretty good job uh, at this. Personally, I love zombie shows, zombie TV shows, zombie movies, everything that is zombie, I like it. So of course this is a drama that I was going to jump in and I really enjoyed it a lot. I can't wait for season two. <laughs> Number three, we have The King's Affection that I gave nine. The story is set during the Joseon dynasty and it follows a young princess who has to pretend to be a young prince. As soon as I saw the promotional pictures for this drama, I knew I was going to watch it. This is cross-dressing done right. She is extremely convincing as a prince and her acting is superb and really on point. Number four, we have Save Me that I gave nine and it tells the story of a family who gets embarked, stuck into a religious cult. So this one goes back a bit, right? Uh, I only get, got to watch it this year because I mostly watch romance usually. So I never tried to give this one a chance, but since I love the actress and I love one of the actors as well, I decided that it was the right time to do it. And guys, what a drama, what a drama. If you haven't watched it, I recommend this one very much. Honestly, the acting, the production, everything is so great in this drama. And for the story, the plot, it can, it's, it's, it's so well done, so well thought out. And, and sometimes the creepiness is just so... Oh, it's, it's creepy. They, they, they do it very well. Next up, we have Our Secret that I gave 9.5 out of 10 and is about the 
blooming, growing love between two high school students who are seatmates. Guys, if I tell you how this drama is, if you haven't watched it, please give it a chance as well. This is a drama that is so pure, so romantic, so sweet, so innocent as well, because for the majority of the drama, we follow high school students. It's really reminiscing of your first love if you had one. At least it was the case for me. It really brought back a lot of very fluff and warm feelings. So I love this drama so much. Next up in number six, we have Semantic Error with 9.5 out of 10 again. This one tells the story of a young student who gets into troubles with his seniors because he finishes a group project alone. This drama, this year, I watched it three times. That's right. And I think I'm probably going to watch it again. It's so short but well done that it's very... It has a high rewatchable value, in my opinion. Also, this is one of the best production quality Korean BLs I've seen so far. Uh, it's very, very well done acting-wise, production-wise, how it is filmed. It's filmed very professionally. It looks very professional. It's very well done and the OST as well. Next, at number seven, we have Extraordinary Attorney Who that I gave nine point five out of ten. This one is about a young woman diagnosed with autism spectrum disorder and becomes a lawyer. I really didn't think this drama was going to end up in my list. I heard a lot and a lot and a lot about it. It was all over Twitter for a while, but I wasn't expecting to watch it because it's not romance or not primarily romance. And also because I'm not really fond of everything that is law, and stuff like that because it involves crimes and police and pff, lots of stuff that, that I really don't enjoy that much. However, a friend of my sister very kindly made the promotion of this drama to me and she sold it well because I was very hooked from what she told me. Basically, she told me there is a lot of references to marine mammals, which I love. So this and the fact that she is diagnosed with autism spectrum disorder. Because for some reason, even though I saw about this drama everywhere, I never caught on that. <laughs> I never caught on this fact. And when I heard about it, suddenly it became so interesting to me. Also, as soon as I started the drama, I recognized the actress that I saw in The King's Affection that played a young prince and that I really loved in this drama. So with this again, I was very hooked. At number eight, with 9.5 out of 10, again, we have Bad Buddy, that tells the complicated relationship of two students whose family hate one another. This is a pretty chill and pretty fun drama. It's a nice little rom-com, but it has its deep and touching moments as well. This year and so far, actually, in general, this is one of the strongest Thai BLs we've got with a stellar casting and stellar acting, very good production. There's nothing really to say bad about this drama. I enjoyed it a lot and spent a very good time in front of it. And this is probably a drama I will rewatch again later in the future. Number nine, with a... 10 out of 10, we have Not Me. And the story is about the growing romance between two men in the middle of social fighting and activism. First off the bat, this drama is really well produced, we're very well acted. Stellar casting, again, very well-known actors playing in it. The social commentaries, although being sometimes a bit messy, in my opinion, are always good to hear, always good to throw out there for everyone to hear about it. So. No complaining, even if it's a tiny bit messy, in my opinion. This is a drama I thought I was not going to like as well when I saw the trailer, because I thought it was going to be about gangs and mafia and stuff like that, things that I said I really don't like at all. So while everyone was expecting this drama a lot, even more than Bad Buddy, uh, for me, no, I was expecting Bad Buddy more, but in the end, I think I enjoyed this one a tiny bit more. 
But in the end, they are so different in style that it's difficult to compare anyway. But yeah, a story that I enjoyed a lot, activism, things, social fighting and everything, I really enjoyed that a lot. So yeah, 10 out of 10. Finally, in last position, we have Mr. Bad with, again, a 10 out of 10. The story for this one is about a young woman who makes a wish for an unforgettable love and sees a man appearing in front of her. This drama, despite uh, thinking that is not perfect in the execution of everything, especially towards the beginning, concerning a certain fact in particular that I can't really tell here, I enjoyed it so much. From start to finish, I was so into it. I binged the hell out of this drama. I enjoyed it so, so much. I already know this actor from Our Secret that is also in my list. I think I'm going to have to watch out for his next projects because he seems to pick good ones. This is just romance. There is nothing else but romance, but it's just so pure, so sweet, so romantic. And they, they have such a beautiful relationship between the two of them, whether it is friendship or love, uh, as lovers. This is just... I love this drama. <laughs> and so, 10 out of 10. And that's it for my top 10 dramas that I watched in 2022. Don't hesitate to share your own top with me. Uh, do you agree with some of my dramas? Do you not agree with some of my dramas? If there are some dramas that you haven't watched, I hope uh, I made you want to watch them. This would be very great. I would feel very great and very happy <laughs> for the drama that I for the dramas that I mentioned. Anyway, don't hesitate, like usual, to tell me your own thoughts about all this. And with this, I'll see you in my next video. Bye-bye.